Hey guys, how you doing? Uh, it's X, hello. Uh, a lot of contacts I have, a lot of emails I have, have come to the question that I'm fairly certain I've addressed before in a video. And that question is about the Linux community as a whole and how they're all assholes and how that every time they ask a question, they get told RTFM. I'm sure I've answered this before. I definitely covered it in a QA, and a but I thought I'd made a dedicated video. Uh, but the fact that I'm getting asked these questions again means it may be time to update. Uh, so let's talk about this nice and fast, shall we? The reason people are getting annoyed with the questions is because there's a really, really, really good chance the question was answered slightly further down the board where you're asking the question. Uh, and the reason people get annoyed with silly little questions that are very easy to answer is because they've already answered it four or five times, probably that day, especially in IRC. They'll get the same question all day, every day. Uh, so let's look at where you should be going to find answers to questions and how to phrase your questions. Um, okay. This is reddit slash r slash linux for noobs, the number four and then n-o-o-b-s. That's linux for noobs. Um, it's not meant to be derogatory, not meant to be derogatory at all. Linux for noobs means linux for new users. The word noob gamers have taken to be an insulting derogatory term and honestly it's not. And I don't know why people get upset about me called a noob. If you're new at something, you're a noob. This is a fact. This is a fact. It's, it's fine. It's not, it's not, it's not derogatory. Um, it's, often gets used that way but it's not uh, so <laughs> go to linux for noobs and have a look reading other people's questions even if you don't have the question is a phenomenal way of learning because you'll see someone's question you'll see someone's answer and a lot of the time you'll come away a little bit wiser now if you do have a question um if you do have it then there's a really good chance that you can google here you can google you can search here i think you can do a google for search they've done a great number of advertising haven't they um if you just like limit your search to linux for noobs and type and type like the keyword in there like tearing um desktop uh, file manager whatever your problem is uh you'll probably find a similar question answered that answered and asked there if you don't there are other places to go so what distro are you running is the next question because if you're running ubuntu then there's no point asking a question generally without providing that information. So when you ask a question, you want to go, here's what operating system I'm running. Here's which distro I'm running. Now here's my question. So always lead with like, I'm a Debian user. I'm an Ubuntu user. I'm on Arch. Uh, and then ask the question because someone might read the whole like block of text and go, okay, I know how to fix this. Oh, but I know how to fix this in Ubuntu and he's on Arch. I have no idea. Um, even though that information might be relevant, they'll probably try and help. It might be leading you astray. So just lead with like, look, Here's, here's what here's what this term might. And if it's a question about computer performance or graphic performance, be like, here's my hardware. Like straight away, like like really like like basic question. Here's all my hardware. Here's my details that you need to know. Now here's a long explanation of what I've tried. When you post your question, always post what you've tried to do yourself to solve it. Because if you if they if everyone goes, oh, I just click this box and that solves it, and you go, well, I have, I have clicked the box and it's not solved, and that's that's why it's a problem then someone's wasted their time replying to you because you didn't give them all the information. And then they're going to get annoyed, uh, especially if it's like if they make the effort of doing like a three, four paragraph post and they're like, this is how you, this is all the reason you go, you've yeah, tried that. It's it, it, not helping anyone, you know? So be wordy, but lead with information and then pad at the bottom. So always lead with the information that's relevant. If you're on Ubuntu, you can go down here on Linux, on Linux for noobs. You've got um, Linux. Linux questions, Ubuntu, Linux devices, Fedora, uh, Linux audio, all the different categories of distro and use case for Linux is down here in this nice little table. This is brilliant. Even if you come to Linux, to Linux for noobs and don't look at any of this, but you use it as like a bookmark, <laughs> a bookmark for other stuff, which I do that a lot. Linux questions is great as well. Um, even if you do that, then that's worth coming to this website for and believe me there's like if you ask an ubuntu question in the ubuntu forum you're more likely to get an answer that works in ubuntu than you are if you ask an ubuntu question in a general linux forum uh, linux questions uh, slash r slash linux questions is also good i find linux for noobs um better because i like the sidebar layout it's more useful so that's just why i go with that one if you're on arch and this is because i use arch based distros so i have to say this because i, I don't know what the equivalent is for other distros is the arch wiki that's wiki.archlinux.org has questions to lots and lots of things you'll have a quite you'll have a problem like you've I don't know, you've got an nvidia problem so you just go to the wiki and you can go to nvidia 
and then you'll go, oh, look, there you go, the NVIDIA page. And then if you just go down, you go, here's a problem. I've got a problem here. There's a troubleshooting section on here towards the bottom, uh, which I thought was I thought was further down. That's okay, it's not linked. It's not there at the top. Uh, there we go. So you'll have a troubleshooting section, and you'll have uh, lots of guides and help, and lots of the lots of, like walls of information. But if you use the bookmark thing at the top, uh, if you use the, the contents guide at the top, you'll be able to jump to the questions you've got fairly quickly. If you've got a graphics problem, for instance, and you go on a forum and ask a question. And it's say you're on Arch and you've got an NVIDIA problem, um, like using multiple monitors. Uh, if the tip thing, like half the time, I found that I'll that even I'll do, I'll ask a question, I'll be like, it's right there on the Arch wiki. And people are getting annoyed. And when they say read the manual, they literally mean go and read it. They don't mean like go into the command line type man NVIDIA. They actually mean go and find an online manual, go and find a wiki, go and find a guide, and try and look at the problem and figure out if the, the tips here are related to your problems because yeah a lot of the time things are just covered in the arch wicket and even if you're not an arch if you want a distro that uses system d then an awful lot of what's in the arc wiki like like a lot will be covered for your distro too so if you've got a general problem um with a graphics card thing then th this information will be very other than into package names and stuff everything will be pretty similar so if it's you know if it's just a case of edit edit a config file there's a good chance it's going to work um not not a 100 percent ironclad case use your intelligence think about the file locations in your particular distro uh, and think about like if there's distro if your distro's own file um, own help guide has got information that is is contradictory to this then there's a good chance that your distro's guide will be more correct but yeah um never a bad thing to check out the arch wiki it's brilliant it's one of the best documented distros out there i think i know crunchbang tends to be pretty good but it's a lot of forum based stuff um the reason i don't point to ubuntu forum for this even though ubuntu forum's got a lot of information on is because there's not a lot of version control there so you'll find information for the wrong version of your operating system um and with them changing over to system d of the last few versions you'll find something that used to work that blatantly doesn't now so be a bit cautious that you get the right version if you're going to look at the ubuntu forums and then there's also general websites like places that aren't wikis and reddit and chat groups there is just google linux help or google the question you'll find there's actual websites like linuxhelp.net dedicated to teaching people the basics of linux and you'll find that sometimes especially if you're new to linux taking the time to read about how to do basic stuff can really sort of help you in the long term because you'll get a good foundation to build on so when someone says do this do this do this you can go oh okay i know how to copy a file i know how to i know how to edit something in the command line i know you know i know how to do basic stuff um the final thing is the command line <sighs> here's the command line yay um the fact is a lot of people will think that the command line is for hardcore geeks i'm not a hardcore geek i just want this working um linux is an operating system built on top of a command line whereas windows is a visual interface with a command line built on top um that's very basic way of saying it but um linux everything you can do in your graphical user interface you can do in the command line like everything so there's no shame in learning the command line. It's not geeky to learn the command line. This is just one of the many tools you have. If you're afraid to use the command line, then that's on you, and you're going to miss out on stuff that's really easy to do in the command line, and you're going to fight with your user interface because you don't want to use the command line because you think it's too hard. It's not. It's really easy. It is probably easier than a lot of stuff you do in a graphical environment because you can just memorize the command you need and go, and, da -da -da -da, and you can do one line what will take you 10 minutes of clicking to do an, an, an interface. So that's my thoughts. That's my uh, guidelines, I suppose. Um, read the, to summarize. Read the manual first. Check no one else has asked the question. When you ask the question, provide useful information. And if you're too wordy and you feel like you're going on too bit, put your information at the top and then pad all your wordy stuff at the bottom. And then if people want to stop there. They can. They can. They they get halfway down. They get like a paragraph down. And go. Oh, I don't know about that. They can scroll on. They're not going to waste their time reading a page of stuff to go at the bottom. In finally, so my question is, and you go, oh, for Christ's sake, you know, because a lot of people don't know the question at the bottom, so they've read the whole thing. Because a lot of people, like myself, we start at the top and read down. We don't skim everything. Um, it's just some people read like that. Uh, so yeah, that's it. Just, just, and oh, remember, if someone helps you, be grateful, be thankful, and most of all, pay it forward. So if someone asks you the same question next year or six weeks later or an hour later, you've got the information now. So offer it out. Be a good citizen. 
And uh, if you do end up a grumpy greybeard, because I'm, 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 I'm getting to be a grumpy greybeard, actually. If you do end up a grumpy greybeard, uh, remember that uh, although you've answered the same question 10 times, the people that asked the question probably didn't know it's been asked. They might think they're the first person to ever have this problem. Be a little bit patient with people who think that. So thanks for watching, and hopefully you like this video. I'm sorry about the repetition, because I know I've covered a lot of this stuff before, but I feel like a newer video to link to may be of use. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye. See, god damn it. See, again, the global shortcut keys just don't fucking work, and then I just look like a moron going, bye, click, 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 nothing happens. I'm going to go for real now. See you later.